Hello everyone, myself Kalvar SS, working as assistant professor at Department of Physics, KT Chan College NAS. Today we are to going to discuss MSc second year semester 3, paper 3, that is the course of experimental technique in physics first. In this course we have to see in the four modules of four chapters, signal signal analysis, sensors. In this video we have to cover the sensors and its characteristics so in this video we have to starting with first module signal signal and signal analysis and sensor last lecture we have to started with a static characteristics of the sensors so up to we have now to cover cover up the uh, three characteristics first one is the accuracy second one is the precision and third one is the sensitivity so what is the accuracy the closeness of the standard value to value that is the known as the accuracy and what is the precision so that is the number of observation it is near about standard value that is the known as the precision and third one is the sensitivity that is the changing output to the changing input that is the known as the sensitivity of the sense so now we have to see the fourth static characteristics of the sensor is linearity. Linearity it is nothing but a relation between input and output. So it provides a linear relation between output versus measure. So linearity is a major quality of sensors or it gives the quality of sensors. So linearity is defined as the ability to reproduce the input characteristics symmetrically and linearly. It is also known as the closeness of an output value from the ideally fitted transfer curve of an sensor is known as linearity. It is also defined as it is the ratio of maximum deviation between actual characteristics curve and the fitting straight line in the full range to the output value of the full range that is the called the linearity so linearity is classified by five ways it depending on the how to draw the straight line between their measured value so starting with first type of linearity is the theoretical slope linearity here a straight line between a theoretical endpoints which drawn without referring any major demand. So here draw the straight line only use the endpoints of the measured value. So we cannot consider the other measured value or without referring the other measured value. Second one is the second type of linearity is the a straight line between a experimental endpoints which can be specified at those obtained during any one calibration cycle or as an average of readings during two or more consecutive calibration cycles. So here only see or uh, draw the straight line between the extreme experimental end points. Next third types of uh, linearity is terminal linearity it is the special ca case of theoretical slope linearity for which the theoretical endpoints are exactly 0% and 100% of the full scale output so here we have to draw the straight line between the calibration cycle or both are identical deviation both side that is the known as the terminal linearity so that is the known as the terminal placed straight line so following figure shows the relation of terminal linearity of the linearity next four type of type of linearity is independent linearity Independent linearity is the maximum permissible deviation 
of the actual calibration curve from a straight line the slope and position of the straight line are chosen to minimize deviation over all or portion of the actual calibration curve so here the linearity or calibration curve is not depend on straight line so you can see the following diagram so here calibration curve it is not dependent on a straight line so calibration curve deviation both sides are different uh, one side is the minimum other side is the maximum so that diagram shows the how to uh, here linearity is independent of straight line deviation now next fifth one uh, type of linearity is least square linearity the straight line for which the sum of the square of the residuals are minimized the residuals are output readings from their corresponding points on the base feet straight line so here the diagram uh, you can see the diagram how to list square linearity feet at the straight line so here the residuals output reading their corresponding points and you can feed the straight line phase tree so that is the least square linearity now next static characteristics of the sensor is reproducibility so reproducibility is the degree of closeness with which a given value may be repeatedly measured it specified in terms of scale readings over a given period of time it is also ability to perform its assigned function for specific period of time when hysteresis also included so reproducibility of sensors it depend on the different parameters like as a user manufacturing methods individual parts so reproducibility it is the perform the repeated operation in given period of time is known as reproducibility now next six characters static characteristics of the sensor is it is the ability of the sensor to reproduce group of measurement of the same input under the same operating condition it is also defined as measure of the deviation of test result from the mean value it is shows the performance of the sensor so repeatability gives safety or product quality then you can say or you can uh, give the reliability of that sensors so repeatability it is the a group of measurement under a same operating conditions same environment conditions same unit same user so that is the known as the repeat ability now next slide is used or clear the what is the reproducibility and repeatability so here we have to uh, clear the doubt of reproducibility and repeatability so in reproducibility and repeatability parameters are working different so in a uh, reproducibility and repeatability parameters are environment conditions then operational conditions setups units and operators are different in reproducibility and in a repeatability repeatability it is the all the parameters are identical and same now next static characteristics of the sensor is resolution it is the minimum change or smallest increment in the measured value that can be detected with certainty by the sensor 
it is the smallest quantity being measured which can be detected with a certainty by a sensor it is known as the resolution it is also or it can be least count of the sensor so resolution means smallest change or smallest increment in the output value by we have to given to the smallest change the in the input that is the resolution now next static characteristics is the uh, sensor it is threshold it is also known as dead space dead band and dead zone it is the range of different input minimum values over which there is no change in output value this is the minimum value defines the threshold of the sensor so threshold it is the when are you given to the input to the sensor but that time your output doesn't change it is the remain same so that space that band and that zone is known as the threshold or dead space dead band and dead zone next one is the drift drift is the next static characteristics of the sensor so drift it is nothing but it is related with the error so how much error occurred by a sensor so drift is the variation in the output of an instrument from the desired value for a given input due to change in the sensitivity and interfacing inputs like temperature and component stability so both uh, two parameters first one is the sensitivity and uh, first one is the zero drift so these two parameters are mainly uh, if affective the uh, performance of the sensor so to drift is used for to the minimize the error of the sensor so you can calculate the total error is equal to zero drift and sensitivity so you have to know the sensitivity it is the some environmental conditions are changed then your sensor is sensitive so it changes the sensitivity so you will get the sensitivity thing. and zero drift when you are given to the input to the sensor but uh, that sensor it not operator or it doesn't give any output so that duration is known as the zero drift or zero error so you can calculate the total error is equal to zero drift plus sensitivity drift now next characteristics of the uh, sensor is stability so if your output of the sensor is gives the stable output then you can say your sensor performance is very good or it is the sensor is very good for any operation so stability it is the ability of sensors to retain its performance throughout it specified operating times which gives the performance of sensors so stability gives the performance of the sensors or means it is the how to related with the input and output if stability is good then you can say the performance of the sensor is the better if stability is poor then you can say the performance of the sensor it not satisfied so stability it important characteristics of the sensor you have to see when we choose a any sensor for any application now next static characteristics of the sensor is the tolerance so tolerance it is nothing but a maximum allowable error in the measurement is specified in terms of some value which is called tolerance the maximum deviation of a manufacturing components from the specified value it is the 
term which is closely related with the accuracy and you have to know the very well example we have to use in electronics register have a tolerance it is the minimum tolerance has the plus minus 5 percent so whatever value of register it can changes from this range to the this range so tolerance it is the maximum allow allowable error means consider we have to uh, get the output is 10 but you have to uh, pl uh, plus minus 0.5 added together so you can say the range or tolerance is the 0.5 percent so it is the 9.5 to the 10.5 you can the tolerance of the that sensor operating next static characteristics of the sensor is the range or span so range or span is two different parameters like uh, how you can see this two definitions the minimum and maximum values of quantity for which and sensor is designed to measure is called its range or span the minimum and maximum value uh, of quantity uh, for which sensor is designed to measure that is the called range or span. So range indicating sensor is normally from 0 to core scale value and span is simply difference between full scale and lower scale value. So consider one example if voltage is from 10 to 30 volt then range is said to be 10 volt to 30 volt and you can say the span span is said to be 20 volt so that is the difference between range and span so range is given to the operating scale of the sensor and span it given to the difference between full scale and lower scale value now next static characteristics is the hysteresis hysteresis is a error measurement method there is small change in measured value when input is varied in increasing manner and then is decreasing manner so hysteresis we have to <coughs> see the already in a linearity so hysteresis is the used for to error measurement method when input is varied uh, increasing manner and when input is varying decreasing manner so there is smallest change of the output value or measured value so that is the known as the hysteresis so following diagram shows the how to hysteresis is generated when uh, we have to increasing the input so curve like that increasing manner and when he, when you decreasing the uh, input uh, decreasing manner input then your curve is the lower so that is the generated the hysteresis so you can calculate the error how much error present in a hysteresis